Hello guys, welcome to another video, and in this video we're going to be talking about LAN parties, Unreal Tournament, and basically how to set up Unreal Tournament for LAN parties, and also um, multiplayer in general, because the master server is off since 2023. Now, this was done in a uh, request of one of my viewers, one of my subscribers, and yeah, I, I figured why, mo my, why, why not do it? Um, that's a request, and I usually don't have ideas uh, recently, so yeah, I said, why not just make the video, right? So as you can see here, and we started the video with some gameplay of Unreal Tournament 2K4, um, and yeah, it's a, quite a fabulous game. If you haven't heard of it, please do check it out. Uh, and please, if you want to, uh, and if you already play it, make some LAN parties happen, because I think LAN parties are an essential part of gaming culture, and everyone has to at least experience that zero ping mentality. Anyway, um, enjoy some gameplay while it lasts, because yeah, we're getting right into the tutorial. So yeah, as you can see here, now that the gameplay is done, we have the Unreal Tournament 2K4 menu. Now, it will not be like this for you if you just downloaded the game. And the reason for that is this game was not optimized for 16x9 resolutions. As you can see, most of the resolutions here are not 16x9, they're 4x3, 5x4, or something like that in general. So, what can we do? How do I get it to work in 1080p? Well, it's easy. You're going to have to press the tilde button, which I will have on screen, um, and you're going to be uh, greeted with this terminal right here. I mean this um, console, right? And you're going to go for set res, and you're going to put your resolution of favor in here, so 1080. So 1920 by 1080, if you don't know that is 20, 1080p. Now you can put anything else, the 4K resolution. If you don't know the resolutions, Google them or look at them in your settings and stuff like that. Now this works both on Windows, Linux, and if you can get it to run on Mac OS. And I think BSD will run this game as well. So basically it will run anywhere. So uh, yeah, you just press enter. And as you can see, the screen just flashed or something. That means the resolution has changed. Your resolution would change differently because mine already has changed. So it just refreshed the actual game or something. And yeah, that's basically it. You're set with that one. Now we've got the second command which we're gonna have to run to actually enable multiplayer because we didn't even solve the issue we had in the first place with the first command, right? We just solved a inconvenience, well, one can say. So yeah, for that, we're gonna press the tilde button once more, and we're gonna have to pr paste in this one command. Now this command is quite hard. If you're gonna need to copy it, I'll gonna have it in the description, and I'll also have it on screen if you wanna manually type it in, but I don't recommend that. Just copy it down from down below. Um, that said, let's just copy it here and paste it right into Unreal Tournament. This is the command set ipdrv dot master server link dot uh, space master server list uh, two parentheses opening uh, address uh, quotes utmaster dot spy open spy dot net uh, end quote um, colon uh, port twenty eight nine oh two and two parentheses closing. Now you can just enter, uh, press enter on that and you'll be ready to actually access multiplayer. Because if you notice beforehand, if you have uh, actually tried, you can't actually connect to the servers because the master server, as I just said in the start of the video, is already disabled. Now, when you've done that, um, you can now do join game. And it will tell you to like config your name and stuff like that. You just go through that. It's Pretty uh, easy. And then after you do that, you can go to internet. Or maybe it will ask you when you go to in the internet. And as you can see, now it does have servers. If you had tried before and it didn't, now it does. And from here, you basically have to choose a server and press join. Now I'm not gonna do that because it's very trivial. Um, 
But yeah, here you can change the game modes, for example, Mutant, Assault, Last Man Standing, Invasion, Instagame CTF, Bombing Run, Capture the Flag, Deathmatch, Double Domination, um, Team Deathmatch, and CTF Vehicle. Yeah, that's basically it for internet, and you can see that Onslaught has its own servers, this one has its own servers, this one has its own servers, and yeah, for example, Deathmatch has a lot of servers, right? So, at this point you might be asking, how exactly do you set up a LAN world? Now, for a LAN world, you have to have a host and a guest system, or multiple guest systems, but you have to have a host. Now, how do you host a game, or how do you, like, be, like, how do you turn a system into a host, right? You go back to the main menu, um, and as you can see here, you have host game. Now, in host game, it gives you all of the actual um, gameplay uh, modes, and from these, you can choose whichever. For me, I'm going for Onslaught, but it can be whichever game modes it, there is, and then you can see here that it has, like, maps. Uh, different versions of maps, you might have more, you might have less, depending on how many maps you downloaded and stuff like that. But yeah, that be the point. You can go to game rules, you can tweak these, you can view advanced options, which is recommended because, yeah, there's a lot more here. But if you don't want to be overwhelmed, you can disable that. You have server rules, again, the same here. LAN server, you have to tick this uh, to actually make it work. And you have these mutators, which you can also add, which are actually mods. And what you do in the end is um, you listen to the server. So you go into the server and wait until the other player joins. Now, we can do that for demonstration, but I also have it on my laptop, which we're actually going to join to. So, yeah, this is how listening to the server will work. It will just do this, and you're basically going to be in the world. and. Yeah, wait until other players join. So when the other players join, you'll be able to play. Or actually, you'll be able to play anyway. Um, and yeah, here we go. I'm already playing. But yeah, that beats the point. Now I'm at zero ping. Now let's get to how we're going to actually connect to the um, hosted game, shall we? Okay, so now you're back in the menu, right? Uh, with the other game. So with the other um, PC. You're going to join the game which you hosted on this one. Right? Join game, you go to LAN, and as you can see we've got the UT2K4 server, um, which is the uh, server I have hosted on my laptop, and it ha says it has two players. Let's refresh. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to see this UT2K4 server, and you've got the ONS Arctic Stronghold here. And we're just going to join. You press it twice, or you can click it and then join it, just like you had to join the um, multiplayer servers. And yeah, now we're in the land world. And as you can see, we've got the tanks and stuff, and it's an onslaught game. So yeah, I hope this video was informative for you. Um, I hope you uh, host LAN parties with this game because it's kind of one of the best games you can host LAN parties with um, and also I hope you do uh, make LAN parties and stuff like that because that culture I believe should come back one day and why not be today right so yeah that said um, if you have any questions please comment down below if you have more questions like if, if I'm not able to answer to the questions via the comments feel free to actually join my discord server which should be linked in the description and if it isn't please tell me and I'll uh, link it and then I'll also comment it to you so I'll reply to your comment with the discord server link so you can join and yeah um, that said I hope this was informative and helped you, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!